Winter Storm Cooper is going to dump a lot of snow, and that means a lot of shoveling. Joining us now is Martha Sanders. She is an occupational therapy professor at Quinnipiac. And Martha, uh, I thank you for being outside because you're going to demonstrate the correct way to shovel so we don't get injured. Welcome. I am Kara. Thank you so much for having me. You know, if we had this interview this morning, I would have said, okay, let's get a nice flat shovel and let's just push all the snow back. However, now the snow is falling and it's a lot heavier, we need to pay a lot more attention to our body mechanics. So three things to remember, and I'm gonna step back just a little bit so you can see me a little bit better. Is that okay? That's good, that's good. We see all of you now. Three things to remember, it helps that I'm sure. One is to keep your, keep your back straight. For some of us, it means just arching it just a little bit because it supports it. Two, you want to bend your knees just a little bit, almost in a power position, like a squat. And the third thing that's really important is you want to make sure the load is close. The load obviously being the snow. The best way to do this is to slide your hand down towards the shovel. This really ensures that the load is closer to your body. The reason that is important is because the closer it is to your body, the less force it puts on your back. We want to remember that it's a lot better to do smaller loads of snow than taking a big, big, big chunk like this because it all goes back to probably minimizing the force on your back. So if we okay. put it all together, it should look something like this. There you go. And I've been doing a lot of that today. <laughs> So, so far, so good. All right, we'll keep our back straight, no hunching. And obviously, if you're feeling really, really winded, we want you to stop because I know sometimes we have seen a, a rush of people having heart issues shoveling when it gets very heavy. Yep, it's so important. It's not just your musculoskeletal, your back, it's also your heart. You want to break at least every 20 to 30 minutes and a little bit less if you're feeling winded. Thank you so much for being with us, Martha. Go get warm. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me.